Welcome to day seven of our 21 day journey. This is the end of the first week. Uh, I'm so glad you've made it this far. Uh, now this first week we're talking about as we expect an outpouring from God. Uh, we're talking about overcoming personal limitations. We've spoken about victory, uh, we spoke about self-discovery, victory by grace, victory over sin, victory over fear and anxiety. We've spoken about victory over complacency, victory over distraction. And today we're talking about victory over, over inconsistency. Uh, I thought it was very, very, um, very uh, uh, pertinent, very important for us to talk about inconsistency because if, if we have victory over all of, of these areas, but we're not consistent about it, there will be no fruitfulness. There's a big, um, a big debate about what's more important, intensity or consistency. The fact of the matter is that consistency produces much more fruit over time than intensity. Uh, if you take a few examples in life, uh, if you uh, studying, for example, if you study consistently is more important than study intensely for a short period of time. Being consistent over a long period of time is more important. Investing, for example. If you're intense about investment, but you only invest for a short period of time, it's not as fruitful as investing a little bit, not as intense, but being consistent over a long period of time. It's just like physical exercise and working out. Consistency over a long period of time. You see, our spiritual development is much similar to that. Uh, what God is looking for is consistency more than anything else. Obviously, as we walk with Jesus, we will become more intense about our spiritual development. And I'm sure that as you continue to have victory over your personal limitations, you will become more intense with Jesus. The thing you have to hold on to, though, is not so much the intensity as it's the consistency of it. If you hold on to the consistency of it, you will eventually become more intense. So focus on that. Focus on being consistent. Focus on uh, making the changes that you've, commit, you're, you've committed yourself to throughout this week. Focus on making those things the new normal in your life. And as you become more consistent, you will eventually become more intense and you go deeper and deeper in Christ. And I pray that consistency may become your new normal in Jesus' name. And the enemy will not be able to deter you and derail you from your purpose. I believe it and I call it upon your name in Jesus Christ. Our Father God, I thank you for just closing this first week on this powerful note talking about consistency and the powerful aspect of uh, the fruitful nature of consistency. And I pray over my brothers and sisters who are uh, together walking with us in this journey of 21 days before you. I pray that your strength may come upon them and may their strength be renewed as we enter into the second week, God, in the name of Jesus. And let the changes we've made thus far, the things we've committed to before you, Father, give us the strength Give us the, the, uh, the energy, the wisdom to be consistent with these things going forward. We believe, God, that as we become more consistent, we will become more fruitful and more impactful. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray. Amen and amen. My, bro my brothers, my sisters, may God bless you powerfully. We'll see you again tomorrow as we start a new week in this powerful three-week journey of prayer and fasting in the presence of God. God bless you.